Welcome back to Vintage HLC Show and Tell, and today we're going to look at embossed oven serve. This is a line that was developed and introduced in 1933. And it's a line of kitchenware, although it's a little bit more than that, in that the main marketing point for this ware was that it could go from the refrigerator to the oven to the table, and that the body and the glaze was formulated to handle the, the uh, extreme temperature changes. So we'll start by looking at the embossing. And this is a pudding dish in the orange glaze. And we see the rose and poppy oven serve embossing. The little fluting that's going on on this rolled edge is pretty distinctive too. And we see the oven serve marking, which we have the logo at the top, oven serve and made in the USA. So most of your pieces are going to be marked this way. Although the mixing bowls, most of those will have a special mark we'll look at in a moment. Some pieces also have stickers, and it's always fun to find a sticker because that means a piece probably was not used. And this one says, if you can make it out, guaranteed to withstand changes of oven and refrigerator temperatures. Oven serves Deluxe Chromatone, the Homer Lachlan China Company, Newell, West Virginia. And we'll look at its back stamp, which is what we would expect. Oven serve made in the USA. And this casserole has another sticker. It's the oval version. And it says, guaranteed to withstand changes of oven and refrigerator temperatures. Oven serve the ovenware for table service. Homer Lachlan China Company, Newell, West Virginia. There's also a blue version of that particular marking. So we'll just go through and look at some of these uh, shapes and patterns. Uh, in the back, with the uh, platinum design and the... Uh, red trim is uh, OS-139 and then we have platinum stars with red trim and that's OS-71. The uh, rose and daisy decal, we see this on uh, Virginia Rose as VR-235. Uh, here it's OS-66 and then we have a rose and poppy decal. This is uh, a treatment that was used for uh, Colgate uh, premiums. We'll be looking at this uh, decal in more detail in a future video. Uh, this one should be marked with its treatment number, and it is OS94. Uh, we'll go back and look at this uh, casserole we looked at at the beginning. Uh, this one, let's see, this is OS95. That's the same as VR351, which was used on Virginia Rose. And then we have the underglaze uh, green hand painted work, a uh, rather common treatment on oven serve. And there's uh, this is called tea leaf, if I'm not mistaken. But what's unusual about this is it has a kitchen craft treatment number, KK321. So we'll be looking at this treatment again once we look at a kitchen craft video. But that's not the norm. Most of these are going to have oven serve treatment numbers that will be prefixed OS. So, we looked at this one a moment ago with this uh, green hand painted work. We also have the small uh, bean pot with it, as well as the uh, small casserole. But they also did a blue version, which is much more difficult to find. That's a custard. And then we have uh, a ramekin with the underglazed blue hand painted work and a pudding dish. There's also the four color version, and this is called polychrome. So you have the blue, the yellow, the pink, and the green. So this is your larger size uh, bean pot. Now this one is treatment number OS81, and it's a decal treatment that is made to mimic the rose and poppy embossing. So it's applied directly over the embossing. As a matter of fact, that's one of the problems with a lot of these decal treatments, is that you have these floral decals that are being applied over a floral embossing, and they somewhat interfere with one another. And we see that corrected when we look at Kitchen Craft, uh, which will be a couple videos from now. But this is the only one where it actually uh, applies directly over the embossing. Again, that's OS81. Some people get confused and call this polychrome, but it is not. That is polychrome with the uh, four colors. There were 
three sizes of oval baking dishes, um, 6 inch, 8 inch, and 11 inch. Here's your 6 inch version. And then we have some of the 8 inch versions. Again, there's your uh, green underglaze hand painted work, OS81 with red trim, and a melon yellow glaze. This was developed for oven serve, but it was also used on uh, Wells Art glazes. There were several sizes of plates, 7 inch, 9 inch, and 10 inch. So we've got some 9 inch plates to look at. This is a VR128, uh, which was used on Virginia Rose. However, on oven serve, it becomes OS86. We have our OS81 treatment again, with this colorful decal mimicking uh, the embossing. This is polychrome our four color underglaze hand painted work. And this is our Red Beauty decal, which is very popular with the collectors. Uh, this has red trim. So this is meant for oven serve, the embossed line. There's also a platinum trim version, however, that's usually meant for uh, royal oven serve, which we'll look at in the next video. So I'm not going to get into that too much right now. Uh, poppy decal. Some platinum stamps with a red trim and melon yellow. So th these two are your uh, 10 inch plates. And these others are 9 inch. And a lot of times these plates were used as under plates for the casseroles. So we see one here and there's the plate. There were three sizes of casseroles. The eight and a half inch is the most common. There's a 10 inch version. And then of course a six inch, which I believe we've already looked at. We'll look at it again real quick. The green hand painted work. Our bean pots. So we've got one with uh, decals, platinum trim, melon yellow, OS81. The green uh, underglaze, the polychrome. Of course we looked at our tea leaf a moment ago. And the mixing bowls. There are five sizes of mixing bowls. I only brought a couple out to show because they uh, take up a lot of space. So there's pumpkin. Really nice uh, embossing on this one. Now these have a different mark because this was not formulated for the temperature changes. So it says Homer Lachlan not for oven use made in USA. Another one with some uh, decals. Again, not for oven use. Now this one, however, I do believe does have a regular oven serve marking. Yes, it does. But most of the time these mixing bowls are going to have the not for oven use marking. Then there are some round baking dishes. Uh, they were made in four and a half, five and a half, seven inch, and eight and a half inch. And this is a seven inch one in pumpkin. They look very similar to casserole bases, but they do not have that uh, lip to receive a lid. One with a colorful decal. And then one in melon yellow. Several sizes of ramekins and custards. Now some of these that are in solid colors we'll go over in the future. They were made for Quaker oats and they were, uh, each one was put in a box of oats like this brown, dark green, and turquoise. A lot of those come from the 1950s. This comes from the 1930s, however, with this thick platinum band and uh, red trim. One thing I wanted to point out, there are some variations to these. Let me see if I can make some room and show this. i got too many pieces out today, I think. So we have two custards here, and you can see it a pretty big variation in their sizes. So that's to be expected. And we'll show a ramekin real quick, just a little shallow bowl. Little baking dish. Then we have, let's see what's next. Baked apples with this bell flange. And this was meant to keep things from boiling over when baking. So there's melon yellow, 
here's platinum. Uh, the platinum. Oh, I can't. Remember. I think that's OS 54. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but the uh, OS 50, a lot of your pieces will have platinum trim or red trim. Um, very few are going to have gold trim. I, in fact, I don't think we have any out today. We'll, we'll have to look and see, but most are going to be platinum. And that I do believe that that is OS 54. There's another version here. Shirt egg dishes were made in two sizes. This is the larger, the 7 inch. So we have uh, decals and platinum stamps. In fact, we've got uh, Virginia Rose style stamps there. That would have been used on Patrician, and here it is being used on Oven Serve. Platinum edge line and uh, our orange glaze. Cups and saucers can be rather hard to find. Here they are. It is in uh, orange. And there's a couple unusual pieces here in sky tone blue or craft blue. So we've got this ca small casserole base. So that blue is in the clay, not the glaze. It's given a clear glaze. This one came with a white lid. And then we have a custard cup, again, in this sky tone blue or craft blue clay. All right, the batter jug, rather uncommon piece. Uh, sometimes it can be found with the uh, embossing hand painted. I've never seen any with decals yet. This is an undecorated blank, just an ivory version. French casseroles came in two sizes, the four and a half and five and a half. These are the five and a half. There's polychrome. Now see, I just did that. It's not polychrome, that's OS81, decal treatment. This one's unusual in that it's in rust. It's a Wells Art Glaze. Um, you're not going to find a whole lot of oven serve and art glazes, though if you do find it, it's usually going to be the casseroles and the underplates. Those were meant to be uh, made in art glazes, uh, sold usually at Gimbel's and other places that carried the uh, Wells Art Glaze line. So this is rather unusual to find uh, a French casserole in an art glaze. Green un underglaze hand painted work, and then we have the smaller versions. There's our orange glaze, melon yellow, and the green underglaze hand painted work. If I'm not mistaken, all this with the green underglaze was done for Woolworths, and that may explain why we see so much of it. Then we have the long spoon. This would get replaced by the short spoon when we look at kitchen craft. There was also a fork that was made for kitchen craft that has the oven serve embossing. Here's our cake lifter or pie lifter with our polychrome. Nine and a half inch fish bladder, rather shallow dish. And this is rather interesting because you normally do not see decals on the solid colored glaze oven serve. Um, this is a platter. You would normally see it like that, just blank. Uh, but this one was given some uh, colorful decal treatments. You see the embossing and the marking on the bottom. And we'll look at some pie plates. There were three sizes of pie plates. So we've got our 9 inch and 10 inch. Here's our orange glaze. Oven serve marking. I'm going to have to make some room here for a moment. This decal treatment is called the China Lady. You will usually find this on Kitchen Craft, but here it is on Embossed Oven Serve with uh, red trim. And this I've seen it listed as Windblown Poppy, a coronet treatment that found its way onto Oven Serve. And this one has, I don't think that's going to show up very well in the uh, picture, but that's actually gold trim. It's one of the few. Um, oven serve treatments use gold instead of platinum. So this line was made into the 1940s. However, Kitchen Craft it sort of takes over. We'll be looking at Kitchen Craft in the, uh, the future. But there was a short set that was made in 1955. And it's this, what Joe Cunningham called a pepper glaze. 
that speckle glaze, I hope that will show up. It's, it's very fine. Let me see if I can find another piece that has. And most of the pieces that I've encountered have not been marked. Although it is oven serve and it, it has the distinctive embossing. But when you do find a marking on this, it's, not, it's almost always never going to have a date code. In fact, I've only ever seen one piece of this that had a date code, and it was from 1955. And I will actually show that piece in a future video very soon. Um, here we see no date code, but it's a standard Homer Lachlan marking. That's a pretty good uh, shot of the specks in the glaze. This white stone type glaze. And there's the embossing. And what's interesting, sometimes you can find pieces with a sticker. But the sticker are leftovers from Kitchen Craft. And this oven serve has nothing to do with Kitchen Craft. That's a totally separate idea. Um, but we see these black uh, foil labels. And one last piece to show. And that is this oven serve casserole. This is in the gold speck glaze that was used in the 1960s and 70s. This is a rather strange example. A pretty late for oven serve. We'll take the lid off. And you can see the embossing as well as this gold speck glaze. I may do a video solely on gold speck glazes because uh, that, was, that was used on a lot of different shapes in the 60s and 70s. Alright, so I think that's going to be it for now. Embossed oven serve. Next time we'll look at Royal Oven Serve, which there's a, a close tie-in between the embossed version and Royal Oven Serve, which was made for Royal Metal uh, to fit in metal holders.